हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गुरमीत सिंह वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस एंड आल्सो वेलकम टू अवर सीरीज ऑन ट्रैंगल्स फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट नोट दैट दिस कंप्लीट सीरीज इज एज पर द लेटेस्ट अपडेटेड सिलेबस एंड इन दिस कंप्लीट सीरीज वी विल कवर ऑल दिस चैप्टर्स यूजिंग द पावर ऑफ एनिमेशन एंड द विजुअल टूल टू मेक द टफ कॉन्सेप्ट ईजियर फॉर यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर द एन सी आर टी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द बी पी टी थियरम एंड द लिंक टू ऑल द लेक्चर्स इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन चेक इट आउट and students one important thing do not forget to download the pdf of the concept and formula list the link is given in the description that will be really helpful to solve the question and also brush up the concept whenever you are having the exam or whenever you need so so without taking any further time let's start with this lecture best of luck before moving to the questions let's have a glimpse of the bpt theorem that is what actually the bpt theorem output is let's take a triangle abc Let's draw a line segment DE which is parallel to BC. As per the BPT theorem, if DE is parallel to BC, then the ratio AD upon DB will be equal to AE upon EC. So this is a BPT theorem. If DE and BC are parallel to each other, then AD upon DB will be equal to AE upon EC. Got it? We have also done the converse of the BPT theorem. That is. If AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC, then DE and BC will be parallel to each other. This is the conclusion that we have done in the previous lecture. In this lecture, we will do the questions related to these two concepts. That is the concept of VPT. Let's take our first question. The example number one of NCERT. If a line intersects side AB and AC of a triangle ABC at D and E respectively. and is parallel to bc prove that ad upon ab is equal to ae upon ac in this question a triangle abc is given and a line is also given which is intersecting the side ab and ac at point d and e respectively and further it is also given de is parallel to bc and we have to prove the ratio that is ad upon ab is equal to ae upon ac Note that AD and AE are these two segment, and AB and AC are the complete length of the triangle ABC. It is somewhat resembling the BPT theorem. Let's see how we can relate both the concept. Here it is given that DE and BC are parallel to each other, so we can apply the BPT theorem. That is, the ratio AD upon DB will be equal to AE upon EC. Okay. Further, can we rewrite this as DB upon AD is equal to EC upon AE? Yes, we can rewrite. We have just done the inverse of the BPT theorem equation. Okay. Further, let's add one to both side of the equation. We got AB upon AD is equal to AC upon AE, which we can rewrite as AD upon AB is equal to AE upon AC. that is the proof that we are searching for that is the basically the answer for this question note that how we have approached this proof do not just mug up this question just try to understand how to approach this question that is very very important because in the exam the direct question will not come it will be slightly tricky the understanding is that we have to prove ad upon ab the complete length is equal to ae upon ac This is somewhat resembling the BPT theorem that is AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. In the final proof that is the answer we have to get the term AD and AE which are matching with the BPT theorem equation but the additional terms are there which are AB and AC and we have to remove the term DB and EC basically replace the term DB and EC with AB and AC. If we have added plus 1 on both side of the BPT theorem equation we would have got ab upon db is equal to ac upon ec we have got the term db and ec but we are looking for the term ad and ee so something is missing but on other side we got ab and ac which are in the final answer so slight modification we have to do so that we get the term ad and ee the modification is that just we have to inverse the bpt theorem the terms numerator to denominator and denominator to numerator 
this way we get the term ad and ae in the final result and ab and ac as the total length got it just a small understanding how to approach the question let's move to example number two abcd is a trapezium with ab is parallel to dc e and f are points on non-parallel sides ad and bc respectively such that ef is parallel to ab show that ae upon ad is equal to bf upon fc okay first step we will observe the question that is the standard rule of free attack classes firstly we will observe the question in the question a trapezium is given what is the property of trapezium one of the opposite sides are parallel which are given as ab and dc so in this trapezium ab and dc are parallel to each other Further, E and F are two points are given on non-parallel side. So AD and BC are the non-parallel side of this trapezium and point E is on AD and F is on BC. Further in the question, it is also given AB and EF are parallel to each other. Further, we have to show that AE upon ED is equal to BF upon FC. This we have to prove. So how we will approach this question? If we compare this with the BPT theorem, AE upon ED are somewhat looking like the line segment of the BPT side of the triangle. And similarly, BF upon FC are also looking like the two segments of the side of the triangle. But here we are not having any triangle. Can we somehow make a triangle in which one side is AD so that we can get the line segment AE and ED as two component of that side of the triangle? Similarly, somehow can we make BC as the side of the triangle so that we can get its two component or the two sides ratio as BF upon FC? Think how we can do that. If we draw a line segment joining the point A and C, we got the line segment AC. Here, are you able to visualize the two different triangle? This is the triangle, the triangle ADC and triangle ACB. So we are getting the two triangle. In triangle ADC, we are having the side AD in which we are having the two component AE and ED. And in the triangle ACB, we are having again the two component BF and FC, which are part of the final proof. So if we apply the BPT theorem in these two triangles separately, we can get our final result. Both of these triangles are sharing the common side as AC which is also having the two component. If we apply the BPT theorem in the triangle ADC and also apply the BPT theorem in the triangle ACB, then we will get the common side as AC. So it will be easy to compare both the BPT equations. Let's see how we proceed with this. For applying the BPT theorem, we have to check the line segments are parallel or not. Let's see. In the question, the trapezium is given in which AB and DC are parallel to each other. Okay, that is the property of the trapezium. Further, in the question, it is also given EF and AB are parallel to each other. These two line segments are parallel to each other and also AB and DC are parallel to each other. So, we can say EF and DC will be parallel to each other. Okay, lines parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. EF and DC both are parallel to the line AB. So individually EF and DC will be parallel to each other. So our EG and DC will be parallel to each other. So we can apply the BPT in this triangle and also GF and AB will be parallel to each other. So we can apply the BPT in this triangle also. So let's apply the BPT in the triangle ADC. We got AE upon AD is equal to AG upon GC. Okay, one equation we got. Further, let's apply the BPT in the triangle ACB. Here, this is the inverted triangle. We can rotate this triangle for better visual and for clarity. If we apply the BPT, we got CG upon AG is equal to CF upon BF. Okay, if you observe both of this equation, here AG and GC are common. But in the second equation, it is inverted. So can we rewrite our second equation as AG upon GC is equal to BF upon CF? Just we have inverted the numerator and the denominator. Okay. 
so we got two equation these component are exactly matching so by comparing both of this equation we can say ae upon ed is equal to bf upon fc that is the answer of our question okay let's move to next question the example number three in figure 6.16 ps upon sq is equal to pt upon tr and angle psd is equal to angle prq prove that pqr is an isosceles triangle so this is the question first step we will observe this question in this question a triangle pqr is given it is also given the ratio ps upon sq is equal to pt upon tr so it is resembling the bpt theorem so let's further observe the question in the question angle pst that is the angle s is given as equal to angle prq that is angle r and we have to prove the triangle pqr the big triangle is an isosceles triangle so what is an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle is a triangle in which the two sides of a triangle are equal to each other here if we are able to prove the side pq and pr are equal to each other then we can say this triangle is an isosceles triangle we also know the angles opposite to equal sides are also equal it means that if pq and pr should be equal then these two angles must also be equal to each other angle pqr and angle prq must be equal to prove pq and pr as an isosceles triangle so somehow if we are able to prove these two angles as equal then we can get our answer okay so let's proceed with the answer here in the question the ps upon sq is given as equal to pt upon tr this is the converse of the bpt theorem that is if these ratios are equal to each other then st and qr will be parallel to each other this is the converse of the bpt theorem theorem number 6.2 further these two lines are parallel if we apply the transversal concept in the previous class you must have done the transversal in which if two lines are parallel which are cut by the transversal then the corresponding angles are equal these angles are corresponding angles so angle s and angle q that is angle pst and angle pqr will be equal to each other because these are corresponding angle in case of transversal got it Further in the question, it is given as these two angles are equal to each other. That is angle PST and angle PRQ are equal to each other. And just now we have proved angle PST and angle PQR are equal to each other as an corresponding angle. That is these two angles are equal to each other and also these two angles are equal to each other. So can we say these two angles are also equal to each other? that is angle pqr is equal to angle prq got it these two angles are equal these two angles are equal so these two angle will also be equal to each other and we have just discussed the property the side opposite to equal angles are also equal to each other so these two angles are equal so the opposite sides to these two angles are these two sides so these two sides will also be equal to each other so we got pq and pr are equal which are part of the side of the triangle so two sides of the triangle are equal so this triangle is a isosceles triangle that we have to prove in this question so that is the answer of this question got it so students we have done with this lecture hope you have enjoyed the lecture created using the power of visualization our unique way of teaching and do not forget to download the formula and the concept list the link is given in the description and also this series or this lecture is part of the complete series on the triangle the link to all other videos are given in the description also check it out so thank you very much for being with creator classes have a great day and meet you in the next lecture bye for now